What's up? I'm Riley from Night Versus, and uh, this is my base. This is one of the specters I use. It's kind of like a P-Base style specter. I use this more for the softer tones and the less kind of gritty, gnarlier stuff. Um, I use this live mostly on our second albums tour. These are the SS pickups that come stock in this and it just sounds really good. I use my tone knobs a lot to soften stuff on this bass so you can pretty much the tone knob goes from like really gritty and active and gnarly sounding and you just push it all the way down and it almost sounds like flat wounds even if you have like a gnarly gritty gauge string on there. Um, strings I pretty much keep simple I just use Ernie Ball regular slinkies on everything um, and that's what I use on this too. There's some flat wound stuff on some of our albums but live I just kind of use my tone knobs to adjust all of that stuff. This bass is the Euro 4LX by Spectre. Um, I've had this thing for six years now and this has kind of been like my go-to absolute favorite bass that I've ever had. Um, the action and the tension always is super tight on there so I can kind of do more of the faster um, picking stuff and fingering stuff with it a lot easier and then I like how the neck goes all the way deep right there so I can do a bunch of high stuff that I can't do on that bass, for example. Um, this also is super versatile with the tones. So I use the tone, this tone knob mostly um, to range from really, really gritty to really soft and like finger pick stuff. And so that's the main reason why I first like this bass too, because the pickups and the uh, Spectre tone pump circuit in there kind of lends a super hot, gnarly, like fat, crunchy bass tone. But then with just like one knob, you can soften it completely. So. Um, I've had this thing for about six years now, and it's been my exclusive bass ever since. You can see it's been through, been through quite a bunch, slamming on my belt buckle and stuff like that, and a bunch of flights. It's been thrown by careless flight attendants and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so on our new album, our instrumental album from the Gallery of Sleep, I used this exclusively on the whole thing. So this is the uh, TC Electronic RH450. I toured with a band called One OK Rock. Um, and they were using the 750, which is just like more wattage than this, but it sounded really good and really consistent every night. And my head actually blew up on that tour. So I just went ahead and just got that on that tour. So I've been using this ever since. Um, I didn't use it to record, but it does replicate the, uh, the tones that I got with the, um, the tone pump circuit right there, or the tube tone. It really kind of emulates the orange that I used with Will Putney in the studio. So that's why I kind of like that. And then um, I was lucky enough that Korg actually gave me this Ashdown cab. And this is one of the, uh, the higher end ones that are made in the UK, I believe. And it just sounds super clear. Like I get a lot of my low end in there and it's super fat. And then when I go to the higher octaves and higher notes, like it's super clear still. So it's really simple, but I kind of like the, the range I'm able to get and the clarity of all of it. Very simple pedal setup. Um, I use not much more than this on our new album. I did use some whammy and stuff that's not on my board that will probably be added. But right now, it's just the new uh, Ernie Ball ambient delay, which I really like. And this is just a tap tempo associated with it. And it's pretty cool because you can adjust all the settings this way. And because it has an expression pedal, essentially you can like blend it into your tone. So if you just have a little bit of delay in one part or you kind of want to add just a little space, which I need to do sometimes since we don't have a rhythm guitar, um, this pedal is really great because you can kind of like ease off of it and let the delay blend or you can be really sharp with it and let it be full out, which is cool. Um, right into my Alpha Omega. This is pretty much my main tone. I used a version of this on our record too. This is by Dark Glass Electronics. Um, Super cool, it mixes two different pedals that they have and you can blend the mod there. So like right there, it's pretty much an even split between the two. I like to keep it a little more on the Omega side. It just kind of works well with uh, the circuitry in that bass. But that pedal is really gnarly and I really like it. And then this is just the Korg tuner. Really solid, reliable live tuner that uh, I stand by. <laughs> Thanks for checking out my gear today. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Spectre Bass to Dark Glass, to Ernie Ball, and to Korg USA for helping me out with all this awesome gear. Uh, you can check out Night Versus at Night Versus on pretty much everything. We have a new album out called uh, From, the Ga From the Gallery of Sleep on Equal Vision Records. And you can check all of us out on our social media channels just at our name. <laughs>